Alright, so once again we're back with a mask video. Um, this is another basics video and today we're going to talk about one hit aerials as well as how to backslash aerials. Um, two very key mechanics uh, to learn if you want to get better at the game. Um, so basically in this game uh, there's what's called a one hit aerial which um, if you see by regular aerial small c. I only do two thirds of his health. If you time it right, you're able to kill somebody one shot with an aerial. So basically, one hit aerials um, come down to timing. Uh, some characters require some positioning on their aerials as well. Um, one key thing to note is that you cannot one hit Vader or Grievous with any aerial um, in the game. So if you try to one hit aerial them, you're gonna have to backslash afterwards or something like that. So it's typically, but it's typically not a good idea to, to just try to go on a one hit um, against those characters. But anyway, let's get to it. So we're gonna start off with Luke. Luke's aerial is probably the easiest aerial to learn. So I recommend trying to um, start with him. His aerial timing and uh, positioning everything also applies to Aloy and Rey. Um, so with Luke, you want to kind of time it so you're pressing your attack button as soon as you hit like the height of your jump. Or, sorry, the apex of your jump. Like this. So right when you're trying to learn, I'd recommend just standing right next to somebody like this, uh, like Small and I are doing, and just practice trying to get that single jump one hit. Just loop. And then um, once you start to try to aerial from like higher places, uh, you can apply the same exact timing. Again, it all comes down. To, a lot of it comes down to experience and just uh, playing the game and uh, practicing. But as you can see, I kind of uh, I'm I'm pressing the my my aerial um, at the same exact height that I'd be above him if I was doing my single jump one. The next aerial um, we're gonna look at is Obi. Obi's is the exact same as Luke's, um, just like, I guess the, the the animations of it make it seem a little bit harder. Um, there is a p popular belief uh, with the Obi aerial that you have to position yourself correctly um, to get the one hit. Um, like some, some people think you have to like, land to the left, or some people think you have to land to, um, or land behind the, the enemy to get the one hit. That's just not true. You can do it from... Um, it's as long as you just land near them, like 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 Luke, like Luke's one hit, um, you get the one hit. And it's, the same, it's the same exact timing. It's right at the height of your jump. There we go. Okay, so Mace Windu is pretty self-explanatory. You land on top of them with your ground pound and you kill them. If it's anyone but except for Grievous or Vader, they just die. There's no special mechanics to it. However, as we touched on in the character fundamental videos, because um, Ariel does have a area of effect damage uh, radius, so as you can see, the closer I get to him, the more damage the uh, aerial does. And if we're to land right on top of it, it would just be a one shot. Next we have Yoda. Um, with the new patch, he can he can one hit. Um, his one hit is probably the hardest one to hit in the game though. The hitboxes on it are a little bit weird. Um, you have to aerial a lot later in the air uh, in order to get the one hit and it's almost impossible to do the the one hit the correct way from the ground so you pretty much always have to be standing on a building 
and with his one hit you want to time it later um, I found that if you time it so that you're pressing your attack button like when you're uh, about to hit the head of the character you're trying to kill it usually works best uh, but it is real unreliable and in a competitive setting if you're trying if you're trying to get a quick kill it's you're you're probably probably better off trying to um, find a uh, another option to kill the enemy is if you, if, you, if your only option is to aerial probably gonna want to backslash afterwards just to make sure you're secure that kill um, but yeah you one hit is very hard to hit but an important thing to note about uh, one-hit aerials is that um, every character can do it except for uh, Vader, Emperor, and Dooku. Vader and Dooku's um, uh, aerial is the same, where it just tumbles them and it does two quarters, or sorry, two thirds health. And uh, Emperor's is a uh, he has to float to aerial, and then um, on the way down he does a ground pounce of an area effect damage similar to Mace and uh, it does half health damage. Moving on to Maul, again he basically has the same timing as Luke. The nice thing about Maul Aerial is that if, if you don't hit the one hit you still are going to tumble the enemy in most situations. Like that. And there's the one hit. As you can see, you're you're you have to press. I feel like Maul's is almost um, earlier than Luke's in some cases. Did you say the same as Maul? Like, I feel like I'm pressing it yeah. so early. Yeah, the timing on his is pretty flexible. Grievous is like the same timing as Luke as well. There we go. Okay, so the next area we're going to look at is Massage. Um, an important thing to note about her is that if you're air if you're airling a enemy from the ground, you're going to have to um, either aerial right in front of them or on top of them. If you land, if you land slightly behind them, you're not going to get the one hit. And it's gonna do like barely any damage just because of how our hitboxes work. As you can see, like here, you're yelling somebody. Um, the hitboxes are kind of in front of you. So if, as you can see, if I were to land behind Small C, I get some damage, but it's hardly anything. So with the Saj aerial, if you're going straight from the ground, you're gonna to want to aerial kind of like right before you meet your apex to your jump. And then when you're jumping off buildings, it's kind of like the same timing as Luke's, I would say. So when you're practicing one hits, um, there's a few things I would suggest practicing. Once you get the basics of them down, I practice, you know, jumping from different angles, and trying to get a one hit. Also try pushing someone, you know, far away, and then doing a sprint aerial at them. It's a really good way to kill people in, uh, when you don't have a lot of time to get over there and kill them. You just want to quick in and out. And I'd also, tr I'd also um, practice multiple jump aerials, so if you could just get out of building for me. So now we'll start talking about backslashing aerials, and essentially what this means is when you jump at an enemy, usually what happens is Wait. you can get a tumble, well, more specifically, you'll get a tumble, but if the enemy backslashes you, your aerial is pretty much rendered useless, and you get tumbled as well. One more time. Like that. So it's a pretty effective tool against aerials. So I think what a lot of people do when they start backslashing aerials is they'll try to like predict it using the 
um, the animation of the of the enemy. So they're gonna so like they'll wait for the enemy to actually um, start their aerial, and then they'll try to like guess how to backslash based on that, um, which is like which is fine if that's how you learn how to do it. Uh, but I think a better method is actually to wait till your opponent's icon blinks on the map. Um, as you can see, uh, can you attack for me really quick, Small? Every time Small attacks, you can see his icon light up on the mini map. Um, and I use this to backslash aerials as well. There we go. I'm like doing it right as you blink. There we go.